welcome to Mexico City. Are there to do in the sixth largest city in the world? A lot. The answer is a lot. There is a lot to do if you come to Mexico City. So when I got here, the very first thing that we did and that we had been recommended to do was to go to Sulci Milco and take the canal boat rides. So it's about an hour away, but they, it's just full of these bright, colored, just beautiful, boat, like handmade boats that go up and down the canal. You can do two to three hours, whatever you want, and you basically just have a nice party on the water. Um, so that was a really fun experience when we first got here. On top of that, there's lots to do just here in sort of the central area. There's plenty of walking tours, paid and free. There are street taco tours that you can do. I mean, if you come to Mexico, you have to have the street tacos. So you might as well find where the best ones are. City is actually come to the town of Sochi Milko and take one of the boats out onto the canal and do just like a boat ride for the day. So that's what we were doing. It's a Saturday. Things are getting pretty lively around here. Um, I've definitely heard the weekends are the most fun. A lot of locals come out and do this as well. So it is a touristy thing, but it's also a really fun thing that everyone kind of does. And um, it's about a 45 minute to an hour Uber ride from Condesa or Roma Norte, which is where we're staying. Um, and yeah, definitely excited to check out this cool Mexico City cultural activity for today. of museums. There's actually over 180 different museums just in Mexico City. So the Frida Kahlo Museum is really popular and that's actually up north in the Coyacan neighborhood. You can also do a walking tour there but it's also just a really nice neighborhood if you go to the museum just to kind of walk around and explore the markets. There are so many markets um, especially on the weekends a lot of them tend to take place some of them happen more, some of them are more like food markets, some are craft markets. Um, this weekend, I just got a homemade tamale at one of the markets happening and it was so good. So definitely be sure to check those out in different areas. There's a huge one, I think it's called a Mercado Jamaica down more south of Mexico City. That's just like apparently mind blowing. I did not get to make it this time, but that's definitely one that I've heard from multiple people in like different parts of the world to go visit. And real fast, if I'm going to this list, which is a little too fast for you, don't worry, because I actually have digital nomad city guides for free that you can get down in the link in the description down below. I list all the activities that we did, um, as well as some other things that you would want to know about the destination. So be sure to grab that if you, or you could also just save this video and come right watch it later on. that you can do in Mexico City is um, I had some friends go to Lucha Libre which is sort of the um, Mexican style of wrestling. Um, I had some friends go to a football match or a soccer match and root for the local team. Um, yeah, I don't know there's just a lot I mean it's a foodie city too so a lot of people here are just going and like finding the best restaurants to go and eat to every night. So there is definitely no shortage of activities that you can do, especially right here in Mexico City. So a fun activity to do in Mexico 
Mexico City on a Sunday is to come rent a bike. So they close down this road right uh, along Chapultec Park and it's just for bikes and runners when you can see everyone's out uh, from early in the morning until about 2 p.m. and you can rent a bike for three hours for free um, to show up, get a bike, hang out, ride in this like beautiful weather, especially if it's a great day. Um, come check it out. If you want to do some different activities and excursions just a little further away just because you're so close you might as well and um, one of my favorite things was to do the hot air balloon ride we did this last week this is a bucket list item for me i was not able to do it in turkey a few years ago and so i was happy to get to do it here but you go up sunrise early morning and you get to see the view of the nearby pyramids um, so it's just a really cool experience. There's tons of other hot air balloons and the sky making for perfect, like picturesque uh, moments. Good morning. It is bright and early for us. So we got up about 4.30 this morning, but it is worth it because we are going on a hot air balloon ride. I am so excited. This is a bucket list item for me. I knew when I came to Mexico City, I had to do this. It's only about 45 minutes away from the city. We get to fly over the pyramids. So it is going to be so cool. And I will see you in the air. done quite a few of these now in multiple countries and they're usually really really good um, and you can find some different unique things hosted by locals so today we are going to do a churro making class that I found on Airbnb experience so let's go see what it's all about Um, a couple weeks ago, Tolentango. This is where the hot springs are. This is a little further away. This is about four hours away, but I think we all agreed that it was definitely worth it. You can do an overnight trip there, or you can do what we did and just do it in a one really long day. But again, it's one of those things like, you're so close, you might as well if you have the time. Um, and then some other things that people have done, they have gone to hiking uh, nearby volcanoes. Just this is one thing I was surprised when I started doing my research at Mexico City. I didn't realize there was like such great hiking nearby and there are these dormant volcanoes. Um, a lot of times you do need a guide to so just double check on the destination or which one hike you want to do. The paths necessarily aren't necessarily um, marked very well or they might be really hard, harder hikes. They're, they seem to be pretty challenging. So definitely check that out um, and double check your level for the hike that you want to do. But yeah, I mean, there are even more things to do. I was only here a month. I was not even able to do very much. Those weren't even all the things I did. Some of those things my friends did. Um, but again, be sure to grab that city guide down below in the description because no matter what you wanna do, whether it's historical, cultural, arts, um, whatever area that you're most interested in, Mexico City has lots of activities for you regardless of what your interests are.
state of Hidalgo to the Tolentanga Grottos. Um, they are the hot springs. They're about a three and a half to four hour drive from Mexico City. So definitely an investment to get here, but it is so far is not disappointing. Definitely a unique, fun, different thing that you can check out. 